All right, guys, and welcome back to my Aston Martin DB7 salvage build project. Right, so far in the series, we've already sorted the wheel setback issue. We've managed to repair the front bumper. And we've also straightened the headlight panel. Right, in this episode, I want to get the front offside wing mounted and then start addressing the panel gap issues. Now, those that have been following this channel will probably notice the picture quality is a little bit better today and that's because I've got a new camera so if you think it looks better please leave a comment below so here's a new wing it's a pattern wing um, don't know much about it don't know who made it it's made out of fiberglass obviously the original is also fiberglass or composite of some description um, it needs a little bit of shaping around the edges but for now I'm just going to get it on and then I'm going to perfect it afterwards as you can see there's the old wing front smashed it's not the best shape it's got a crack in the arch so this is definitely the better option right before i can fit this wing i also need to repair this side skirt now there's a little crack in the bottom where the wheel's been catching obviously that's sorted now and someone's taken the wing off and broken this bit here so i'm just going to literally fiberglass that back up doesn't look too hard so i'm going to start by repairing the top of this side skirt now Easiest way I think to repair this would be to use some fiberglass filler and I'm going to clamp a bit of plastic behind it so I can build the shape back up and make it nice and strong. So I'm going to use this filler applicator to go behind the fiberglass on the side skirt and this will act as a bit of a jig, a bit of a mould and just stop the fiberglass filler from going everywhere. I'm literally just going to clamp it like so. But before I can do any of that, I'm just going to prep the surface using a four and a half inch grinder. I'm going to V out the fiberglass a little bit. Obviously, remember to wear a mask when you're doing this kind of job. It's nasty stuff. Um, and that should help the fiberglass filler stick. Right, obviously I've not got enough plastic to do it all, so I'm just going to have to do it in stages, and I've also ran out of fiberglass filler, so we've got some in the post. Right, now I've done that, I'm going to lift the bonnet. Carefully. Like so. And I'm just going to offer the wing up and see what she looks like. Right, I'm just going to try this wing on. So, tucked behind there and hooked over here. Right, so gap down the door is pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. Across the top, that's a little bit big, but it's not bad again. Fits really well across the top here until it gets to here, and then it fits atrociously. Also, this is a bit high. Um, I'm not sure if the headlight still needs to come up a little bit more. The bonnet does have adjustments, so I can move the bonnet a little bit. However, obviously I need to be wary of where it fits across the skull. So, it's quite frustrating because I just kind of want to get something to fit correctly and then go from there and I, I just don't know where to start because it appears nothing fits very well. Um, you can see there, not great is it? Uh, and looking online, they all seem to be the same. There's a lot of quite badly fitted panels on Aston Martins, especially the early ones. So yeah, I've got my work cut out here, I believe. So some more two-pack fiberglass filler has arrived and I've gone over this edge again. Obviously the wing's being removed. So once that's dry, that needs trimming up, fettling, but that should be pretty much done that bit. So I've also taken the headlight back out and as you can see, it looks pretty good now, this panel. I'm pretty happy with it. It's all pretty flat, it's not bad at all. Edges look okay. Obviously this is gonna have plenty of high build and stuff. It's gonna be body colored again. 
so it should look pretty good once painted. So I'm chuffed with that. So this is the headlight panel on the other side. I've obviously removed it because there's a bit of a crack in the wing here. Just need to repair that and just here. Right, the next job is to try and get the bonnet to fit a little bit better. Now I've decided to not worry about that wing too much. This wing's obviously not really moved. There's a little bit of crack at this end, but the rest of it's okay. And I know the bonnet is too far back because it's catching the scuttle cover slightly. So I figured if I try and get the bonnet lined up with this side, not worry about the headlights or anything like that, just try and get the bonnet lined up, then fit the wing on the other side, and then I'll try and make the headlights fit, because the headlights have got quite a lot of adjustment, um, as has everything else. But I figured I need to start with a good point, so I'm going to start with this wing and go from there. So these bonnet hinges are adjustable this way, so the bonnet can go forwards and back. They're adjustable here, so they can go up and down. And obviously the catches are just about ends. So there's quite a lot of movement. Now you've got to remember as well, this bonnet's probably four and a half foot long. So a little bit of adjustment there will make a big difference at this end. So I need to essentially move the bonnet slightly further forward than it was. Just a few mil, um, but that's what I need to do. So let's crack on. So what I'm doing, obviously I've cracked them all off, but I'm just gonna have them, so they're not knit, but not as loose as this. And then hopefully, yeah, I can move the bonnet up and down like that. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to slightly nick one of them up. Then I can put the bonnet down and see what it looks like. So, bonnet's now been adjusted. And the secret to doing that was to take the bonnet struts off. Now, basically, the struts were pushing the bonnet up the whole time. So as soon as I cracked it off, it made it worse. And it took me a little bit to work that out. So once I got them cracked off, I could then slide the bonnet down, tighten it back up. And as you can see, we've got a near on perfect gap here and a perfect gap across the scuttle. So I'm dead chuffed with that. So now this is done, it's back to this wing. I need to get this wing to fit perfectly with the bonnet and the door. Wish me luck. Right, as you can see, I've repaired the top of this side skirt panel. Um, it's not quite finished yet, but the strength's there and the basic shape's there, which will allow me to fit the wing. I've also done a little bit of preventative maintenance by putting masking tape across all the edges which I don't want to spray because like the bonnet's in really good condition, as is the door, as is this pillar, it'd be, it'd be a shame to have to respray it because I've scratched it putting the wing on. So, bonnet back up, struts are back on, dead chuff with that. Let's try fitting this bloody wing. So the first thing I need to do is I need to drill the holes to allow this to fit here. So we've got the holes already for this bit, but we haven't got the hole here for the bolt. So I want to get that done, because I know this line's good, and then at least I've got a fixed point. So these little plastic plugs, which are a little bit like raw plugs, these go into the wing, and then the self-tapper goes through the side skirt, through here, into these. Right. So we're lovely into place. I'm going to use some self tappers, which is what it should have. And just get this in the right place. And there we go. That bit there is in the right place. <laughs> Next job is to put a screw or a bolt through here. I've got the hole in the original sill, but I haven't got the hole in the wing, so I need to make that hole now. So I've marked roughly where it needs to be. I'm gonna take it back off and drill it properly. I'm using a five mil drill um, because that's what it should be. It should be a five mil bolt. Fairly obvious stuff, really. Right, holes drilled, now time to put it back on. <laughs> I 
and there's the bolt through the panel. So now we've got this bit across here. Will the bonnet fit better now? One way to find out. Excuse the state of the garage. As you can see, that is not bad at all. Pleased with that. I'm going to reinforce this corner slider because it's a little bit thin for my liking. What can I say? I am really chuffed. I started this video pretty petrified, pretty worried, particularly about the bonnet and the way that wing fitted. And now we've got a really good fitting bonnet and the wing is 90% of there. It needs a little bit of fettling, it needs a little bit of fiberglass here and there just to, you know, just to shape it a little bit more. But the overall shape's there and it's fitting good. So with that in mind, I'm going to wrap the video up here today, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments box below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more DB7 updates coming very, very soon, guys. Thank you, guys, and take care. Bye-bye.